Hey, how you guys doing? I'm here talking about my deal that I did at 651 Hughes Street in Atlanta, Georgia, 30310. The deal itself, it was a probate deal. So I was working with the seller through the probate process. The way the seller got in contact with me was he had received one of my mailers. He called me back. He said he had another offer on the table for um, a little bit lower than mine. So I gave him a, a higher offer than the one he had on the table. He accepted the offer and then we moved forward with the transaction. Come to find out that since it was probate, there were three brothers. It's, it's him and two brothers and their mom left the property. And then come to find out later that there was another brother that they had who had died. He actually had four children. And then after finding out that he had four children, come to find out there was another sister who also died. She had four children. And then after that, there was another brother who died who had one child. So in total, it was um, 11 people who had to get involved in the sale of this property. So it was the three uncles and the eight children or the eight nieces and nephews I'm sorry, the nine nieces and nephews between the two, the three people who had died. Um, so that took a long time. It took a while for that piece, that part of the process, because I had to get with a notary, track down most of these people. A lot of them don't really use cell phones as well because they're older or use the Internet as well because they're older. And then from there, um, get them to sign quick claim deeds affidavits of airship make sure all the documentation was correct and then get all of that over to the attorney so that way he can provide clear title for the property so that was on the ab side of the transaction and then on the bc side of the transaction there was another company which shall not be named who was purchasing the property from me they had their representative put the property on a contract with me from there he couldn't, he wasn't able to bring an in buyer to the table. So he assigned the contract to somebody else in his office who was working with a real estate agent who ended up bringing the buyer to the table. So from there, he assigned his contract to the real estate agent's buyer. And then he was looking to get paid outside of closing by the, uh, really out of a portion of my wholesale fee, but really, or if he would, if he were to tell it out of a portion of the sales price from the, um, the seller, I'm sorry, from the purchaser of the property, the purchaser was supposed to pay him outside of closing. And then the realtor was supposed to also be paid a commission from the buyer at the closing table. And so their end of the transaction, they did a terrible job with the paperwork, but luckily, the attorney, the attorney is really good. So a lot of times when it comes to attorneys, the better ones you have, the better they'll make the transaction. Because the first attorney I actually went with, he didn't want to actually even do the transaction because there were so many parties involved. In fact, I had got with him. We had got up to a point where I had sent him in a, a section of like all of the quick claim deeds. He told me they were wrong and to basically redo them. But he wouldn't explain to me what was wrong with the language inside of the quick claim deed? So a lot of times the, the, the attorney you get does determine, you know, how well the transaction go. But the other attorney, the new attorney, Sam McGuire, I worked with him. And from there, he was able to handle the transaction. He made sure all the numbers were balanced. He even took care of some of the paperwork that the other party who would was involved in the transaction. They had sloppy paperwork. He was able to fix their paperwork so the transaction could take place. Um, so he made he made it everything a lot things real a lot smoother. And it was it was trouble trying to deal with eleven people. But to be honest, in the attorney's entire time of practicing, he said he's never seen anybody any probate transaction with eleven people in it. So it's kind of it's definitely outside of the norm. Um, of transactions that take place typically it's just like one or two people involved not 11 people trust me it was it, it was crazy trying to find 11 people but made it happen got the check 
got it all worked out. So that's it. On to the next one.